so as you can see from the front of this BMW X5M it looks absolutely beastly this is the M version so the performance version of the E70 X5 and you can really see with these really low bumpers honeycomb grills everywhere and of course your 3M lines right over there this car is a very sporty looking car especially when I do review the back of this car which will be in the later parts of the video so as you can see you do have your chrome kidney grills right over there and you also do have your front parking sensors you also do have your headlight washers and you also do have a place where you can tow this vehicle if something does go wrong so let's go over the lights of this car this car does have BMW's top of the range lights for the X5 of that year. This is the pre-facelift E70. So you do have your LED lights, except for the daytime running lights. They're not, kind of, they're not working the daytime running lights, but they are in amber, as I'll show you right now. So this is the normal daytime running lights. The park lights. The headlights. The brights. The inner gate is with the lights and the inner gate is without the lights so you also do have a nice reflector over here which does give this car a very american like feel and something very interesting about the x5m is that you do not have spotlights compared to the regular x5 which is the 30 the 40 or the 50 you don't have spotlights on the X5M. You just have your honeycomb girl, which just replaces that. But either than that, this is a very aggressive looking car. The bonnet is extremely long with a lot of body lines. I think it is very, very good looking car for its year and size. So let's really see what the performance is like on the first generation X5M. So as you can see, right when you open up the bonnets on this car, you are greeted with this beautiful engine cover. It does have the M badging right over there. And it does also have the M colors in a strip on the engine cover. I think it looks really, really amazing. And the color combination is from the V8 BMW engine covers. Looks absolutely amazing. Very, very good design by BMW. It is the very light bonnet is also held by shocks which makes it very easy to open this bonnet is extremely light so back in 2011 this car was one of the fastest suvs money can buy it was on par with the mercedes mr63 and all of those high performance suvs this was one of the fastest suvs at that time this car has a 4.4 liter v8 turbocharged petrol engine which produces 547 brake horsepower or 408 kilowatts this car also produces 618 newton meters of torque however it can produce so much more power if you do have an ecu remap or if you do remove the cats like this one has it does give so much more power it can easily hit over 600 horsepower these cars so this car goes 0 to 100 clumps in a very sprinty 4.7 seconds and this car's top speed is limited to 250 kilometers or 155 miles if you do remove that limiter this car can do 300 kilometers no joke for an suv this car is all-wheel drive and this car weighs 2380 kilograms or 5247 pounds which gives this car a power to weight ratio of 4.3 kilograms per horsepower which is quite amazing for an SUV at this age this car there's a con about this car which is the fuel economy as on the city it will add about 20 liters per hundred kilometers but on the highway it can go as low as 11 liters per hundred kilometers which gives a combined of around 14 liters per hundred kilometers which is actually not too bad for V8 compared to the American alternatives so the towing specifications of this car is pretty impressive as if the thing you're towing has a brake it can go it can tow 3.5 tons however if it is unbraked it can tow 750 kilograms by law 
So this car comes in the six-speed automatic. This is the first generation X5M. The second gen does come with the seven-speed DCT, like the M5 and the M6. So the carbon outlet of this car is 325 grams a kilometer. And finally, this car retails at $24,052 in America, $417,000 in South Africa, and in Europe, $22,933 euros. This is still extremely expensive for a car that's going to be soon 13 years old. That is a lot of money. So is it really worth paying that extra money right now or should you go with the F-Series X5M? Wait till the further parts out of your so you can see this car really is worth your hard-earned money. So now this is the back of this BMW X5M. And as you can see, these four exhaust tips really do show that this is a high performance SUV. I mean, these four exhausts absolutely transform the look of this car at the back. If the X5M badging doesn't already. So you do have a nice little spoiler over here with your third brake light located right over there. You also do have your tinted smash and grab heated rear window. You have a nice little wiper. Your BMW badging in chrome on the sides looks absolutely amazing. You also do have your rear parking sensors. You also do have your rear camera, number plate lights, and of course your automatic boot, which I will open up to you in a bit. You also do have your nice reflectors over here, and you also do have your LED rear lights right over there. So let's waste no time and let me show you the lights of this car. This is the normal daytime running lights. The tail lights, the brake lights with the lights, the indicators with the lights, the indicators without the lights, the brake lights without the lights, and finally the reverse lights. This car also does have fog lights, so I will also show you that right now. So as you can see, those lights are pretty good for its age, as the drivers can see, and it also does add that very aggressive touch to the car, having these chrome strippings right over there. So as you can see, since this car does not have cats, this car can shoot some flames. I'm serious. So that's why the exhaust is quite black and burnt. So let me open up the boot of this car. This car does have an approximately 650 litre boot. As you can see, it is a split tailgate, as you can see. Pretty amazing. It's very good for its class. The carpet is lined very, very good quality. Very good. You also have some plastic up here, which does creak a bit as it's a bit old. As you can see, you can't hear because of the microphone, but yeah, you do have some creaky plastic at the back over here. The carpet, however, is the same carpet used as the interior, a very good quality carpet. So, as you can see, this car does have its spare wheel, wheel spanner, jack, and all those goodies. Despite it being an M, you still have those nice little goodies. New, newer BMWs do not have those things. So yeah, you also do have your your um sorry your wheel spanner jack and all those things so as you can see bmw has safety features you can't close the tailgate if this is open so it does have some nice sensors you also do have a netting where you can put up over there and you also do have your little cover where you can cover up your x5m so let's waste no time and let's move on to the interior of this x5m So this is the interior of this X5M and as you can see right off the bat I am seated in these beautiful seats with the M logo on the headrest. I will show you that in the later part of the interior review. So as you can see this car looks like a standard X5 however there are major differences which I will go over in a bit. So let's begin with the sensor console of this car. As you can see you do have your iDrive screen. This is the best iDrive screen you can get at that time. You have your two AC vents with your hazard and central locking switch in the middle. And you also do have your automatic air conditioning right over there. You also do have your radio controls, proper old school BMW radio controls. And then you also do have some more buttons located right below that. So let's go over these buttons located right below that. You do have your parking sensor slash camera. 
you have your traction control off button you have your heel assist and you also do have your boot opening switch pretty old school so as you can see let's go over the i drive this is the the older generation i drive as you can see it does have um, when you go to cd mart media you have your cd dvd music collection external devices which is your usb your ipod bluetooth and your aux and then you also do have your other things you also do have your radio which is your fm and am you can make phone calls on this car you have your navigation office connected drive vehicle information which does display your talk distribution of this car and of course your onboard computer so here's the thing this car has a six um sorry it has you know your cd for over here and also you also do have your six uh your six cd slash dvd changer inside the cubby hole which i will show you later this car can hold over seven cds or dvds which is amazing so as you can see this is the air conditioning uh it, uh, it is um your dual temperature as you can see it does go up by 0.5 degrees and the lowest is 16 highest is 28 each passenger can have it individually you also have your fan speed as you can see and then you also do have your air circulation which you do have your modes for the driver as you can see the drive the, uh, and then also for the passenger and you can adjust how cold or hot you want it to be you also do you have your warm-up seats for both the driver and passenger your front and rear windscreen defrosters and also do you have an automatic slash manual mode for where you want the air to circulate from you have a max ac mode and you also do have an automatic mode now this is the center console of this car as you can see you do have your nice little covers right over there i drive control then you also do have your your uh, gear select with the m logo some more buttons which i will go over just now some storage your armrests which are dual and then when you open up the armrest as you can see it does reveal your ipod ipod place where you can put some storage cigarette lights aux jack and usb ports so as you can see this is where the um, cup holders are when you open up the covers as you can see it does display two cup holders and also does display your cigarette lighter and an ashtray which is quite nice so you do have your edc mode which is your electronic damping control button which is right below the gear selector and also do you have your automatic handbrake uh, please bear in mind automatic handbrakes on the x5s they do fail a lot i've never seen an x5 of this generation have a working parking brake so this is the driver's side as you can see you do have your beautiful analog dials i will put up on the screen right now as you can see the speedometer can go up to 300 kilometers and you also do have your rev count which does have a variable red line looks absolutely amazing you have your oil temp and you also do have your fuel tanks so as you can see on you have two little displays on the one on the top it does play your distance to end average fuel economy your time and temperature and that's pretty much it and then at the bottom over there it, it does display um, your your gear what gear you're on and also it does display your your mileage and your trip so yeah if you don't know what a variable uh, red line is it is when the car is still cold the red line is let's say at four and a half thousand which you can't allow to rev it all the way up but once the oil temp is on par the red line does go all the way to the normal red line so this is steering wheel as you can see beautiful napa leather steering wheel you do have your buttons on both sides and you also do have your beautiful silver um, metal paddle shifters and this car is also uh, stitched with the m colors the attention to detail on this car is quite amazing you also do have your m mode right over there which absolutely changes the car you can also set up what the m mode does on the iDrive screen so as you can see these are the uh, stalks of this car as you can see on the left side you do have your indicator and your bc button and on the right side you have your indicator and your automatic wiper switch so as you can see pretty nice not indicator wiper sorry this is the other power drive side as you can see you do have your dual ac vents then you also do have your light switch this car does have automatic lights you have your button where you can turn on and off the heads up display 
and yeah that's pretty much it let me show you the heads-up display as you can see that's how it looks like if you rev the car if you drive that's how the heads-up display looks like and also it does display your variable red line and all of those things pretty amazing and when you start driving it it also does display what gear you're on so this is the door panel as you can see pretty nice door panel you have your tweeter chrome handle you also do have your aluminium trim your speaker then you also have full electric windows electric mirrors you can close your mirrors you so you can block the rear windows you have a nice armrest you have storage and you have a nice cup holder that's pretty much it as i said you can close and open the mirrors Ooh, it's looking like it's about to rain so this is the passenger side as you can see you do have that same dual ac vent and you also do have a nice beautiful aluminium trim so you may be wondering alex where's the cubby hole i mean i don't see a handle over here this is the thing the x5s of this generation don't have a cubby hole over here they have it right over here I actually played around with my friend at one time last year with another X5 which I reviewed. I was asking him, so do you know how to open the cubby hole? And he's wondering, 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 like touching everywhere and it's like right over here the button. We had a very good laugh. So we touched this button and as you can see, it does display your beautiful cubby hole. It's not big at all, not big by any means, but it does display your DVD changer and it also is lined in a beautiful Velcro material so these are the seats of this car these are leather seats pretty amazing you also do have the m logo on the headrest pretty nice these are fully electrical seats as you can see you also do have an airbag down there so as you can see this car can go forwards and backwards forwards and backwards up and down and of course your headrests are automated too beautiful it's very also it's very comfortable these headrests so talking about up here as you can see you do have a nice scroll over here sunroof controls your lights very traditional iconic bmw lights they are in amber then you also do have your rear view mirror and you also do have your alarm right below that so now these are the sun visors as you can see you do have your mirrors with your lights on both the driver and passenger and every single passenger does have a handle since this is the X5M, you do have your beautiful blacked out roof. So talking about the quality of this car, you do have a soft touch dashboard, soft touch here, soft touch here, soft touch here, soft touch every single way you look, except here. That's all. Over here, only the X5M has this, this beautiful stitched leather over here. It looks beautiful, same with over here, only the X5M has it. I think I saw quite well. So this is the back of this BMW X5M and as you can see it's very spacious for a sports SUV. Just imagine a car that can go 300 k's and you're just sitting at the back here enjoying life. So this is the center console of this car. As you can see you do have your two AC vents, two cigarette lights and you do also have a nice piece of storage right below that. Very beautiful made. So now as you can see the seats of this car very very good same as the front leather seats they're in very good condition you also do have an armrest over here with your cup holder right over there which is pretty nice and it's starting to rain a lightning alarm came on joburg this is the 7th of december it's raining 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 big time we had a massive hailstorm which destroyed our city the other day so as you can see this is the back of the seat it is aligned and soft touch and you also do have your nice little sleeve where you can put your things this is the door panel as you can see you do have a nice uh, curtain you also do have your two speakers it has the upgrade um, speakers aluminium trim and some storage and a cup holder this is again line and soft touch material very good looking very beautiful especially when clean and as i said you also do have your curtains right over whoopsies your curtains right over there so then so then up here as you can see you do have your handles also you do have your lights you have your door lights and you also do have your reading lights i put on i put up on the screen how many airbags this car has because you do have airbags at the back over here so this is the carpet quality of this car as you can see it is pretty good and you also do have your coat hangers at the back over there 
so my apologies that i'm ending this uh, back review quite short my camera is right outside getting soaked so i'm going to move on to the side of this car luckily i did record this previously stay tuned so as you can see from the side of this x5m it does look quite like a regular x5 you do have your piano black roof racks right over there tinted smash and grab rear windows you also do have your piano black package and you also do have your color coded mirrors however a, a, a difference from the regular x5 is that you do have a wider fenders and you also do have your m badging located on your indicator with chrome very very good looking so this car does have 20 inch alloy mags with massive discs at the back and the front i mean just look how big those discs are pretty amazing and i did hear that you can also get the ventilated discs for the x5m this one does not have that option so you do also have a nice side skirt over here with a black sticker right over there you also do have your paint protection film right over there and this car does have your keyless go package on all handles and you also do have lights on all handles you also do have your soft closing doors as i will show you as you can see you have your soft closing doors however if you do slam it too much like the driver's side it's not going to work anymore so as you can see this car is a very good looking car on the side very aggressive looking and of course many body lines i think it's quite amazing so my opinion on this car is i do think this is a great car in 2022 this car has the power the looks the reputation everything you can imagine for an suv to have it might not be as fast as the new f series x5m but it's still pretty damn fast it's powerful, looks good and sounds good, especially when you do modify that exhaust a little bit like this one has. There will be some more videos on this car if you do want. I can record some more videos on the sound of this car because I think it just sounds amazing this car. Very smooth for V8. So I'm going to put the young car with scores on, this, on the screen so you can see the scores that I gave this car. So as you can see, this car scored a very good 40 out of 50 for the daily scores and 41 out of 50 for the weekend scores, which gives this car a grand total of 81 out of 100. This car is by far the best scoring car of 2023 and there's many more cars to come, so please stay tuned. So finally, if you have stayed to this part of the video, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to smash the, the subscribe button, like button, turn on notifications so you never miss an upcoming video like this. What is your opinion on this car? I'd love to know your opinion down in the comment section below. So have a great day as always and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. Coming up next on Young Cowards, I will be reviewing this 2020 VW Polo Vivo. So please stay tuned. This is going to be an awesome review as always. So please stay tuned. This is a very, very good car.